hi guys welcome to my videos so guys today in this video i have something really good that's gonna bring smile to a lot of people so guys when you come to canada or when you want to come to canada if you are from a visa required nation you need to get a visitor visa at least or visa for any other purpose that you need like you need a visa you cannot just come directly but if you are from an eta required country you just need to file an eta and that's it you don't have to apply any visa correct if you're from USA, it's altogether a different situation. But anyway, we, I won't go into that. What now Canada has done is like uh, Canada has added 13 new countries, 13 new countries into the list of uh, ETAs where uh, the citizens of these countries can apply for an ETA when they want to come to Canada for visiting purposes and they don't have to apply for a visitor visa. Okay, this is now huge. But yes, there are certain conditions. So uh, make sure to watch this video till the end and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So these are the countries they have added Antigua and Barbuda, Argentina, Costa Rica, Morocco, Panama, St. Kitties and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadiers, the Philippines, Seychelles, Trinidad and Tobacco, Thailand and Uruguay. Now not every citizen of these countries can apply for an ETA. But those who had a Canadian visa within past 10 years or they have an active USA non-immigrant visa can apply. For example, let's say you are a citizen of Thailand and you want to come to Canada but you don't have a visa to Canada. But at the same time you have a visitor visa, let's say B1, B2 for USA and the visa is active. So you can apply for an ETA to, to travel to Canada. Now the benefits are going to be huge. As per the government, this will boost trade, tourism. I totally agree to that. Economic activity, tourism activity, hospitality. These industries are going to be positively impacted, no doubt. But there is one more thing that people are not talking about it. Now, before this, IRCC officers and officers responsible uh, for these missions for the Canadian Embassy in these countries, they were busy uh, handling visitor visa applications, right? But still they will get visitor visa applications, uh, not, as I said, not everyone is qualified to apply for ETF yet. But now they will be getting less applications, less visitor visa application because some, I don't have the number or I don't have the percentage, how many citizens of these uh, countries will be eligible to apply an ETA now. But whatever that percentage is, it's good and we should always ap appreciate positive responses. So this will definitely help boosting tourism trade and also this will reduce the burden on immigration officers a bit because now uh, now like uh, a certain number of uh, potential visitors will not be applying uh, visitor visa to Canada because now they have it so thanks for watching this video guys please subscribe to the channel thank you